now it's time for unit number six and unit number six is np completeness and solving optimization problems uh, guys i hope you guys have already watched the videos of unit number one two three four and five if you haven't watched those videos just go through the playlist you will find the link of all those videos otherwise you can go to the description box also i have provided the link of those videos make sure to watch and then come to this video and uh, unit number six question number one is what is the primary focus of np completeness in computational theory is it to determining if the problem is solvable determining if a problem can be solved in polynomial time determining if a problem can be solved by a quantum computer or determining if a problem has a unique solution correct option is option number b determining if a problem can be solved in a polynomial time next one which of the following best describe a decision problem is it a problem with only one correct an answer no a problem that can be solved in polynomial time no a problem with a yes or no answer is called a decision problem option c is correct next one which class of problem does np refers to so np refers to non-deterministic polynomial time problems option a is correct next question what does it mean for a problem to be np complete the problem if the problem is np complete it means every problem in np can be reduced to it in polynomial time option c is correct next one which of the following is an example of a np complete problem is it sorting an array finding the shortest path in a graph traveling salesman problem or binary tree correct option is option c traveling salesman problem tsp next one what is the purpose of reduction in the context of np completeness so reduction means to transfer one problem into another the purpose of reduction means to transfer one problem into another this is the purpose in the context of np completeness next question which of the following best describe a polynomial time deduction correct option is option number b transforming one problem to another in polynomial time and this is this best describe the polynomial time deduction option b is correct next one what is the significance of cook levin theorem the significance of cook levin theorem is it identifies the first np complete problem option b is correct next one which of the following statement is true about all np complete problem they can be solved in polynomial time they are the simplest problem in np they can be reduced to each other in polynomial time they can be solved by a non deterministic turning machine correct option is option c they can be re reduced to each other in polynomial time they can be reduced to each other in polynomial time this statement is true next one what is the significance of grover search algorithm in the context of quantum computing option is it proves np completeness it provides a quadratic speed up for unstructured search problems and this is the correct only it provides a quadratic speed up for unstructured search problem correct option is option b next one in the context of quantum computing what is a qubit so in the context of quantum computing qubit is a basic unit of quantum information option b is correct next question what is the primary difference between a classical bit and a qubit the primary difference is a bit can be 0 or 1 but a qubit can be 0 1 or both simultaneously option a is correct next one what is bell's inequality used to demonstrate so bell's inequality used to demonstrate the non classical correlation between interlinked particles option c is correct next question what is the primary goal of grober search algorithm 
So the primary goal of Grover search algorithm is to search an unsorted database faster than a classical algorithm. Option B is correct. Next one, what is an NP hard problem? A problem that is harder than NP complete problem or a problem that is NP and NP complete or a problem that is at least as hard as the hardest problem in NP. Yeah, this is the correct one. Option C will be correct here. Next question, in computational theory, what does P represent? P represent a problem solvable in polynomial time. Option B is correct. Next one, what is the best known time complexity for solving an NP complete problem on a classical computer? Correct option is option C, exponential time. Next one. What does it mean if a decision problem is in class P? It means it can be solved in polynomial time by a deterministic turning machine. Option A is correct. Next one. Which of the following problem is known to be NP complete? So three set problem is known to be NP complete. Option C is correct here. Next question. What is the complexity of job subscheduling typically analyzed? How is complexity of job subscheduling typically analyzed? So job subscheduling is analyzed by reducing it to NP complete problem. Option A is correct. By reducing it to a known NP complete problem. Next question. Which of the following scheduling algorithm is specifically designed for job subscheduling? Option is first come first serve, shortest job next, earliest deadline first or Johnson's rule. Correct option is Johnson's rule is a scheduling algorithm which is especially designed for job subscheduling. Option D is correct. Next question. Which of the following statement is true regarding the hardness of approximating general TSPs? Correct option is option B. General TSPs cannot be approximated to within any constant factor unless and until P is equal to NP. Next one. What, what is the example of an approximation scheme for a traveling salesman problem? So, its correct example is Grady algorithm. Option A is correct. Next one. What does the maximum satisfiability problem max set M in M to optimize? Option is the number of variable in Boolean expression, the number of clauses satisfied in a Boolean expression, the number of negation in a Boolean expression or number of operations in Boolean expression. Correct option is option B, the number of clauses satisfied in Boolean expression. Next one. Which problem is not known to be NP complete? Is it subset sum, Boolean satisfiability, Hamiltonian path or Dijkastra algorithm? Hamiltonian path or Dijkastra algorithm? Correct option is option D. Dijkastra algorithm is not a non NP complete. Next one. What phenomenon does Bell's inequality address? Correct, uh, correct option is option number B. Entanglement is a phenomena that Bell's inequality address. Option B will be correct. Next question. Which of the following is an example of NP hard problem that is not NP complete? Correct option is option B. Subset sub problem is an example of NP hard problem that is not NP complete. Next question. How does the concept of quantum entanglement Relate to quantum computing. Correct option is option D. It enables the creation of non-local correlation between qubits. Option D is correct. Next question. What is the significance of halting problems in computational theory? Correct option is option B. It demonstrates the existence of problems that are unsolved by algorithms. Next one, in the context of quantum computing, what property does superposition refers to? 
so superposition means the simultaneous existence of multiple state option a is correct next question which of the following statement about np completeness is true the statement which is correct about np completeness is solving one np complete problem in polynomial time would solve all np complete problem in polynomial time option d is correct next one how does the space complexity of classical algorithm for solving np complete problem compare to the time complexity option is correct option is option b a space complexity generally higher than the time complexity next one what is the space complexity of grover search algorithm so grover search algorithm has constant space correct option is d next one how does the time complexity of grover search algorithm scale with the size of search space so it scales quadratically correct option is option b next one how do the time and space complexities of quantum algorithm typically typically compare to those of classical algorithm correct option is option a quantum algorithm often exhibits lower time complexity but may have the higher space complexity compared to classical algorithm option a is correct next question in what scenario might classical algorithm outperforms quantum algorithm so when the problem size is small classical algorithm may outperforms quantum algorithm option a is correct next question which of the following is a characteristics of a space complexity in quantum algorithm a so a uh, correct statement is it depends on the problem size and the number of qubits used option b is correct next question what impact does the pr presence of noise in quantum system have on the space complexity of quantum algorithm so its impact is it increases the space complexity option b is correct one and the last question is how does the space complexity of quantum algorithm scale with the number of qubits used so it scales so it increase exp exponentially option d is correct so this was all about the playlist of cc408 i hope you guys have enjoyed watching the videos please subscribe the channel and share this playlist in all the groups and in fact please share this video in at least in your class group so that your friends get all the benefit of these videos thank you so much bye bye